Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over 5 of the top digital audio workstations for Linux. Some of these are open source programs, but all of them are completely free to download and use. Many of these programs have support for both audio and MIDI recording and editing, but a few of them are more specialized programs. We'll go through each of the strengths and weaknesses for these programs, then we'll let you know which one you should learn to use depending on what kind of music you're looking to create. Number 5. Audacity Audacity is an audio recorder that supports multi-track processing and stereo track recording. It's great for processing audio on simple projects such as podcasts or video audio when there are only a few tracks to work with. It's completely free, constantly maintained, and is supported on all three major operating systems. Audacity falls short of the other digital audio workstations on this list since editing is destructive and it has no support for MIDI or virtual instruments. It's also not good for people who need to work with more than just one stereo input at once. With that said, Audacity is a great program for single track recording. We recommend Audacity for people who need an easy to use audio recorder and editor for a single track, like when recording one microphone for narration. Number 4. Q-Tractor Q-Tractor is a full digital audio workstation that is available only for use on Linux. It's an open source program and is currently being updated frequently. Q-Tractor allows for multi-track recording, non-destructive editing, and MIDI composition and arrangement. It also supports a variety of audio formats, sample rates, and plugins such as LADSPA, DSSI, BST, and LV2. Though Q-Tractor is definitely a fully functional and useful program, its lack of support for other operating systems can make finding tutorials and support for the program difficult at times. Q-Tractor is one of the better programs for Linux for using virtual instruments through the piano roll, but I wouldn't recommend it if your main goal is to record instruments with microphones. Number 3. Traction 6 Traction is a full digital audio workstation with multi-track recording, editing, and MIDI support. It's an older version of the current Traction 7 and is free to download and use. Traction 6 has support for VST and AU audio plugins, but it doesn't include many plugins or any virtual instruments when first downloaded, so there's some work required to get it to a point where it's usable for MIDI work. Also, the layout of the program is a little confusing and hard to navigate at first. Some of the tools are not where you expect them to be. For example, adding plugins to a track works on a drag and drop system instead of the simple list view like most DAWs. We recommend Traction 6 for people getting started with music production, even though it doesn't have the best layout, the tools provided in the program are simple to use and it makes getting started with audio very easy without providing too many extra confusing tools for new users. Number 2. LMMS LMMS, or Linux Multimedia Studio, is a fantastic program that integrates a lot of different virtual instruments together into one powerful beat producer. In this program, the main tools that you'll use are the Song Editor and Beat Slash Baseline Editor. The song editor combines beats and bass lines that you create with different synths on the piano roll. The beat and bass line editor is used to make loops that can be repeated in the song. All of these can be controlled with a bunch of different effects and basically anything in the program can be used with automation throughout the song. LMMS comes packed full of different synths which include presets for a large variety of different sounds. There's also samples that can be used to create different sound effects or combine to create a drum beat. This is a great program if you're creating beats from MIDI instruments and samples, but it's not the right choice for people who need to record audio onto different tracks, such as when working with real acoustic instruments. Number 1. Ardor Ardor is a full open source digital audio workstation. It supports multi-channel recording and editing as well as MIDI composition and external MIDI instruments. Ardor features non-destructive editing so you can go back and make changes at any point throughout the mixing process. There's also support for different audio plugins such as Audio Unit, LV2, Linux VST, and LADSPA. Ardor also has excellent support for automation, meaning you can automate your panning and volume of every track. Finally, Ardor also supports video soundtrack editing. To get the full version of Ardor, you have to either subscribe to a payment every month or pay at least $45 to get continuous updates. Though we realize this isn't free, Ardor has been included on this list because it can easily be compiled from source code on Linux as shown in a previous video on this channel. It also beats out Q-Tractor since it's used on Microsoft Windows and Mac OS, so there's plenty of support for this program available online. Overall, LMMS and Ardor are two of the best programs for audio production on Linux. LMMS is great as a beat producer and is well beyond Ardor for working with MIDI and virtual instruments. 
Ardor is a good all-around program combining the audio and MIDI recording capabilities we would expect from a full digital audio workstation on other operating systems. Thanks for watching this video on digital audio workstations for Linux. If you have any comments on our list, let us know below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out our Facebook, Twitter, and blog. Links are posted in the video description.